Yo YouTube and welcome back to the channel today we've got some more crimson gameplay this time it's going to be a control lobby on hotel and this one was an absolute banger we ended up dropping 40 plus kills for the win let's break down the gameplay starting off we went through middle try to open up the blood here what I'm going to do is just watch this lobby area make sure nobody can push through and we've got control mid map we take out one the second guy's going to push us nice little jump shot making sure to use the cover and utilize the map to our advantage We're going to push through my teammate with a huge three piece and now it's an opportunity to push through the map and just make sure we're basically, you know, getting more map control. Gonna go through. I don't know where he came from because I just saw three people in the kill feed. I got one, so I don't know where that guy came from, but he was able to take me out. Now we're spawning back B, right? So straight away, I've got an idea that they're gonna be on the A point. And I've got the dead silence to work with in about a second. So I'm thinking, right, what I want to do is basically sneak on by and just see if I can get any kills before they, you know, get the whole objective. It's going to be difficult because they've got complete map control. So I'm going to push through my teammates on the flank. I'm going to take our time and try to just shoulder it for information. We managed to sneak through and there's just too many of them there. So let's see if we can get any kills. We go through, get one, I'm going to reposition. That was quite a scrappy kill. We managed to go through, get the second, jump onto the third, but, you know, bad timing. We weren't able to get him. But okay, you know what? It's not bad, man. Let's kind of assess the situation. So we're up by one lives so basically even lives going into this a minute and a half to work with I'm gonna chuck a stun and a grenade on our base just to make sure no one's overextending and now i'm gonna once again watch this middle lobby area so it's all about quadrants on the map all about map control and right now i'm making sure we've got this lobby area kind of secured I'm gonna be sound whoring and if i feel like i can hear somebody I'm gonna jump on across and play very aggressive so right now i can't see anybody the guy is free that we managed to take him out and now's a good opportunity to kind of go through middle and my main ob objective here right is to go through middle sneak up behind them get to bottom bedroom and basically just stop them from getting on the hill that's my main objective i don't know where that guy was shooting me from but he has fmj or something because that guy was shooting me through walls like it was nothing we're gonna go through the left hand side here again trying to sneak through as soon as i saw three people down we're gonna push through and i don't know what's happening my timing is all over the place the last guy sees me <laughs> look at him he just sees me kind of crawl on by but now it's not a bad situation to be in 19 to 50 the pressure's on our opponents so i'm actually going to shoulder him there and i actually ended up a bit more revealed than i wanted to be so what i wanted to do is just shoulder it slightly i didn't realize my whole body was showing so that was actually poor for myself I'm gonna push through it's a good stun and need to kind of break the ice there make sure we're just getting a bit of time we're gonna keep pre-firing that great great shots there that was one of those shots where if you don't take it you don't win it and to be honest i wasn't expecting to get the kill it's more of a pre-fire and actually worked out really well so he revealed himself we go through and just like that our team actually were able to kind of collapse onto the opponents now they put a lot of pressure on us you know getting the getting the kills getting the two points so i'm trying to release the pressure back onto our opponent it's going to push through and in this situation i know they're going to be around us only 20 seconds to work with so i'm just going to play bottom bedroom right because the thing about bottom bedroom is once they're on the hill there's so many angles you can see them from that you're probably likely to get the kill so that's what we're trying to do push through i'm just trying to play my life there. 10 seconds left we're doing pretty good 12 versus 4 and the main thing here is just to stay alive and make sure we take them off the hill pre-aiming the last side make sure no one's there 12 versus 2 this round looks like it's going to be over the last guy's there good shots from him managed to get the kill but we do get the trade 12 versus 2 and this round is over let's see how the second round goes okay so we managed to win the first defense which was expected it started off pretty well but they managed to get the a point and then they did apply the pressure luckily enough we were able to hold on now this is quite a popular spawn route i like to take i like to push through and normally i actually like to chuck a nade on those archers instead i did chuck a nade there and what i used i used my reaction there we did a prone double jump great play almost was able to get the second guy as well now i definitely could have been a bit more prepared for the for the first guy he made me one shot and then it was kind of a domino effect from there because i was weak the second guy was able to take me out but let's see how we approach the right hand side i'm looking at the kill feed and two of my teammates have just died here so i know it's not gonna be an easy push they're gonna push through and again man just really unfortunate the guy comes behind me but the grenade actually managed to push through although there was a trophy system there because he was so weak the nade actually was able to kill him so that's a pretty good result there I'm gonna push through i'm using my single tap fire there when there's a shot where i feel like it's very very difficult to control the recoil at distance like that i just do the single tap fire this was so frustrating because i knew he was on the right hand side i tried to shoulder it but there's actually a guy on the left so you know what fair play from my opponents and we're currently down by seven so this is a really difficult round to kind of get to grips with. and what we're trying to do is trying to push out and i thought like the initial play from my opponents was just so good so well executed they were able to get so much map control and what i'm trying to do here is get a few kills open up the map and able to push through so you see i get one i'm open up the scoring here and now we're literally trying to play around trying to get the second kill because i don't really want to go in the hill by myself like i could just see there's so many people playing around it again there's a trophy system there and there's just not much room to work with we push through great play on the second we 
able to take him out. And now I'm really hoping my teammates can help me out here. But again, someone bought a bedroom. And it's just a constant, like, chase right now between the cat and the mouse. Like, I feel like we're on the constant back foot. Nine lives to 21. Really, really poor offense round from the team. Now, the reason why I think that we didn't play so well in the offense is I don't think we played together at all, to be honest. And I feel like once they were in power positions, they just really use it to their advantage. And I think the opponent just played that really, really well. On to the round three. Okay, so two rounds down, two defenses in a row. So hopefully we can carry on the trend and win this next defense. Will we continue to con uh, the form on the defense? We're about to find out. Going to push through the dead silence. We still have a stun and A to work with. Really good shouldering onto the first guy. And I absolutely love that play right there. I love the challenge right there. The reason why I think it was so successful, right, is because what I did is I tested the waters with the first shouldering. I went through. Once I made him weak, I was able to push through, play aggressive, and take him out. And now we're literally on our, on our races. We're going to push through. There's one. I'm actually going to this angle let him push me and we did some crazy movement there we literally went prone all the way to the sky right there and again i think in that situation considering three people were chasing me i will 100 take the kill i think sometimes when you find yourself in a bad situation you take what you can get right there and the kill right there is definitely an advantage now this guy pushes out and again it's just one of those situations where i wasn't sure where they were going to be you kind of want to be balanced between running for the hill and playing for the enemy and right there my teammates get a massive massive three piece i noticed the danger could start to go towards the b point so i'm going to go towards b we read the danger well we see the first guy we make him weak and this is so important i don't want to die here because i'm the last guy alive i just want to play my life wait for my teammates to go through we end up making it one shot and again i'm just really trying to wait for my teammates i think i got quite lucky without dying there playing my life but the main thing there was literally waiting for my team we spot one go through great camera there we managed to take him out my teammate gets a trade on me and it's just constant back and forth right now looking at the scoreboard 21 to 20 they're going to get the a point and I think on this map, to be honest, A point is one of those points where they're probably going to get majority of the time. It's not about the A point. It's about the transition. Can you stop the transition? Now, right now, I'm looking at the mini map. I'm at right. They're probably pushing the right. So what I'm going to do is push through the right with my dead silence and just see if I can catch anybody off guard. See if I can catch them while they're on the rotation and stop the transition. While we have dead silence, we can definitely sound to us. I thought that was an enemy, but it was my teammate. Going to push through middle. And again, same scenario. Right, I'm going to go through the right, see if I can spot anybody and just try to get towards the B point here. So I noticed this is one or two on the hill going to push through play very patiently we spot one we make him one shot the second guy's there instead of pushing in we're going to wait for my teammate and what i'm trying to do is basically use yourself as a distraction i feel like sometimes if you can't get the kill that's okay but make sure you're utilizing your equipment make sure you're uh, you know becoming a distraction we spot this guy here i'm basically waiting to bait him in as soon as he pushes me i'm going to do the prone double jump there you go works all the time man always 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 do that prone double jump it works 100 of the times there you go it works to a treat right there. going to push through they're on the b point we're going to want once again, go around. I spot one. And this is just a really difficult time. Okay. I mean, that is so unfortunate. I didn't even realize the precision in the game. I was so, like, locked in. I was just running. I didn't realize the precision was going to kill me. But that's okay. We spawned quite close. So, I'll take that. Going to use the equipment. I like to stun the bottom, nade the top. Just mix things up. Basically, covering as many angles as possible. There's a guy on the right. We're going to prone. Go through again. Just make sure we're shouldering. Make sure we're diving, sliding. Using all the movement mechanics to our advantage. Just so that we go around the corner and we're not facing any pressure. So, we're going to go through 11 to 8. In this situation, I'm holding the bottom and I'm in a good situation. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty locked in. I know that, you know, we've got map control. Only 30 seconds to work with, so we should be good to go. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to watch the left-hand side. Again, I'm just going to play the bottom, wait, hold the ladder, and just make sure they can't really get in the hill. This is a bit of a risky play, to be honest, playing the ladder. It works out well this time. We go through, take out one, center onto the second, and you know what? High risk, high reward. We get a two-piece. Going to watch over. No one's on the point. I spot a guy on our base. Take him out, and I'll, I'll take that. I've got a three-piece. I've left my teammates in basically a six. We're in a six versus three right now. And there's only one guy left on the hill. Going to push through. Make sure we get there before they win the objective. Going to push through again. And just make sure right now we're using our stuns, using our nades, getting them off. We get the guy off the top. There's a guy on the left. There you go. Use your stun. And just like that, we're able to get the win. Okay, 21 kills so far. Doing pretty good. Been leading the lobby. And I feel like it's a consistent basis that the B point is just very, very difficult to break. Hopefully, we can break the trend and win the next offense. Here we are in the round four. Can this be the finale? Can we close out the game? We're pushing free. We're going to chuck a stun in the middle once again. Instead, Actually, instead of doing that, we're playing a bit more aggressive this time. I get caught off guard. We jump shot. We try taking him out. There you go. Beautiful jump shot there. I probably could have used my equipment, but I thought like I just wanted to get there as quick as possible. Now we're going to use our equipment. Stun the right. Nade the right. And with the dead silence popped here, I'm just trying to make a play while my teammates are on the left-hand side. This is the perfect opportunity to make a play. Now, I know somebody's going to be in front of me. So as I'm going around, I'm making sure to center into the corners and make 
making sure I'm not an easy target to hit. I was like, you know what? This is a really good credit spot to sit, right? I'm going to sit on the edge here, and I might not get a lot of action. But one thing's for sure, if somebody pushes this area, I'm basically going to have a free kill. Not only am I going to have a free kill, I'm blocking this area off. So my teammates don't have to worry about this side of the map. Now, I feel like that's pretty useful, but it doesn't quite work out how I want it to. My teammates get two-piece. I don't really have too much action. I'm going to push through. I've still got the dead silence on my way. I'm going to get another kill. And in this situation, while I'm one shot, I just want to make sure I'm, I'm literally like... This is the way I look at it. When I'm one shot, I'm trying to just be like a pit bull. I like just shoot anywhere, make sure I'm just being as dangerous as possible. Just getting any damage off because if I die, I don't want to go out without swinging. I want to take out some plays with me. There you go. I spawn right next to him. We take him out. The second guy's on the hill. We're going to push through. Great jump shot. We get the two piece. We're going to chuck a nade on the right. Watch the left hand side again. Always utilizing your grenade and your stuns, right? So, right there, I chucked the nade on the right. What I did is that blocks that corridor. I watched the left. And it's basically just a great way of watching two areas at once. So many people I watch kind of just watch one way at once. We're going to push through that was so so unfortunate great centering then my centering kind of fell off a bit i literally looked on the floor and yeah we're back to square one 17 to 19 now i think i have all the defense rounds sorry of all the offense rounds i think this one's been pretty pretty successful so far considering the time left and the time uh, and the you know the score the lives everything i think we're doing pretty well so what we need to do here is make sure we don't choke make sure we push through play aggressive and we just start to take the game to our opponents we're gonna go through and that's a massive opening break i spot the guy in the top area and that is just an impossible gunfight something i'm not going to win we go through i hear him come up the ladder we take him out that's one one piece done I'm gonna push through i'm waiting for that guy to pinch I'm gonna slide across there's two people in front of me I'm gonna chuck a nade in the corner we make him one shot things are looking so mixy but that's three down this is our opportunity to push through the last guy's on the top here can we take him out we're gonna push through my teammates with me it's a two versus two on the hill we're gonna slide across we take out one turn around the second guy's out in the open we make him weak we get the two piece and the third comes there's too many opponents and just like that he gets a two piece jay clutches up and he gets the three piece i really think that could have been the game right there but that's what happens individual plays brilliant play from my opponent there he manages to get the three piece and now we're in a situation once again where the backs against the wall can we clutch up i go through i get one and what i'm trying to do is i'm just trying to get kills wait for my teammates to push up and i'm literally trying to get people out impatient and this is just such a struggle right now because i've got an smg i probably should be going through a different angle but honestly i just feel like i'm lost right now what do i do how do i approach the situation it's just really difficult when now we have no lives we're gonna push through we get another kill and all i'm doing is trying to play patient trying to wait for my opponents to make a mistake and i feel like if my teammates just stopped for a second stayed composed we played for maybe a three piece we probably could have won the round there but i think when my opponent jay got the three piece he definitely was able to clear the round up let's take it to the round five and see how we do we're in the round five backs against the wall 30 kills down can we win the game i don't know if i ruined it in the beginning i think i did but we're finally here for the offense can we clutch up on an offense we're about to find out. i'm gonna push through the first guy we get him weak gonna use our equipment we chuck a stun in and now we're gonna chuck a grenade to follow through we go through we get a massive massive two piece and this is the break we wanted the third guy's out in the open we're gonna push through my teammate takes him out and just like that we've actually got the break we finally got the break on the b point so i don't want to lose this opportunity i'm gonna push through i'm gonna make sure i'm watching this guy he crosses onto the left Left, jump around the corner we get the kill and now it's time to jump back on the hill in this situation there's a fine balance between sitting on the hill and pushing out the enemy lanes you have to find the balance you have to find what's right now i don't think i've got the balance perfectly right but i think i've got a pretty good idea of when to push when to hold the hill that was a great jump shot although we died there we actually made able to take somebody out with us and considering i was the only one on the hill i'll take that my teammates are on the b point and this is the perfect opportunity to stretch the game out go to the a point and just cause confusion with my opponents we're going to push through going to go to the left hand side try to pinch them on the a while i got the dead silence this is the perfect time to pinch there you go we get the kill this is our opportunity my teammates are on b i'm going to be on a and now just think about it from the opponent's pov right they're going to start to stress out they can see people on a they can see people on b and this is exactly what we want to do i'm gonna chuck a stun in the nade up behind me so that way I've, I've only got two areas to watch we're going to watch his right hand side if no one's there, going to back off we get a great jump shot on the left guy three go down we're going to watch the left hand side and just like that we're in a fantastic spot i go off the hill for a second just to watch our flank but this is a good opportunity for me to get back on i need to get there as quick as possible yeah i think my teammate shot me like, what, what are you fucking doing mate yeah that's fine i went back on the hill i was able to stack it with him we should be able to get this in a few seconds there you go perfect 19 to 14 this could be it this could be the round we've got two minutes to work with we've got plenty of lives plenty of time all we have to do is work as a team and break the hill so that's exactly what we're going to do my teammates going through the middle lobby area i'm with them i'm gonna slide across now and try to use the bait as my team my teammate goes through there's 1v1 here can we win it we spot a guy on the right my teammate wins it gonna push through and this is the 
perfect opportunity. We spot the second, we take him out. We're gonna back off. It's a 2v2 on the left. We're gonna push through. I know he's on the left corner. And that's what playing aggressive does. It gives you so many opportunities to make a play. There you go. There's a three piece. We're gonna push through the full stair. Can we get him? Of course we can. We've got the knife out. And we're turning up in this last round. 15 versus 8. This is how you play in Crimson Lobbies. Take the fights to your opponents. The last guy's pushing me. We make him one shot. We're gonna straight for Hegelich. We get taken out on the right. But that's okay. And just like that, when I thought it was okay, we get three piece. And this is where I think, right, everything's down to this. All the marbles on the line. We have to push through. We have to do what we've just done once again. Gonna chuck a stun on the wall. Gonna chuck a precision. I just stunned myself, but we're not gonna talk about that. We're gonna pretend that never happened. There's a guy in the back. Well, we're gonna leave him, right? I'm hoping my precision can do some damage. I don't know if it will, but we push through. We get one. There's always gonna be one or two players playing over aggressive, right? And that's when you have to catch them off guard. We go through, we get a two piece. My team is gonna watch over, and this is it. This is the break we needed. I'm gonna watch the bottom, make sure no one's there. I'm basically being insurance for the team, making sure no one's flanking us to get a free three piece because that is a worst case scenario. So I know my teammates can handle the front. I'm going to make sure no one's behind us. We go through and just like that, my teammates died. But guess what? We're nine versus four. 30 seconds left. All we have to do is get a few kills in. This is the advantage of getting kills early on in the round, especially in the offense when you can play for that. We go through, we turn around, we get a great drop shot. I kept playing for the guy on the flank because I knew somebody would flank us. And what a way to end the game than push the final guy. We make him one shot. It's time to push him. We're going to slide across, get the final kill to get 42 kills in the crimson lobby i hope you guys enjoy this insane gameplay if you did make sure to drop a like and i'll catch you for tomorrow's video peace